welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 and today we're going to have a look at productions more specifically editing productions if you are fed up with them being incredibly slow so if you watch my survival challenge series on Obeleron uh, I have edited the carpentry because it is so darn slow that it would take about a lifetime to process the inputs you can put in and I thought I'd go through how we do that um, so I'm going to do that with a copy of the grain mill so what you you can either edit the base game files uh, but if you don't want to do that you can create a copy of it using the video that i have created a while ago which shows you how to make a mod from base game things it does i do it for vehicles but it works exactly the same for a production um, and i'll quickly talk about that when we go into editing the productions as well um, but so if we go in to the build menu and productions we have the not very familiar with productions because I don't use them very often. Uh, we have the base game grain mill, which we will place down here on Erlengrab. And then we have my copy of the grain mill, which is an exact copy um, at the moment, which we will place down here as well. So if we then go into the productions mill, we can see that. Um, they are the same. So for wheat flour, we are processing whatever 3,600 times 5 is litres per month. Again, I really should have my calculator poised ready for this stuff. So we're processing 18,000 litres per month of wheat to turn into flour. Some of the others are better. Barley flour is... Maybe not better. No, that's still about the same. So yeah, so yeah, if you had a really big harvest, it's going to take a while to process it. So, and I guess the other example, the one that I mentioned was the carpentry. I'm not going to edit the carpentry, but just to show you um, why it was so frustrating. So if we open up the carpentry, you'll see that we process per month about 800 litres of wood the carpentry can hold i believe 30,000 litres so you are looking at in big handfuls three game years to process the wood you can put into it that's stupid um and so the edit that i'm going to do to the grain mill you can also do to the carpentry I just uh, didn't happen to have a copy of the carpentry saved. So let's jump out of the game and we're going to go in to Notepad++ because that's where all the fun in Farm Sim happens. So we are out in File Explorer and before we go into the details, if you're not already, click the subscribe button, turn on notifications. Most of you aren't subscribed. If you subscribe, you will make me 10.3% less grumpy. Think about that. Think about my family. You know, if you don't click subscribe, my family are dealing with me being more grumpy. Anyway, so um, I haven't got it zipped because you don't have to have mods zipped to uh, to run them if you're not playing on multiplayer. Um, so yeah, sometimes when, when I'm tinkering with mods, it's easier to have them as unzipped. I'll show you how to zip it when we finish this up. But so if you wanted to create a copy of the grain mill, you would go into the base game files in to placeables find the grain mill and you want to copy these two files um, and then you need to create a mod description file and i'll just show you what's in that it is fairly simple um, basically the easiest way to create one of those is to download a placeables mod and then just change things so that it matches up with the uh, the icon file and the xml file so let's close that and we're going to go in to our grain mill um, and you don't need to change any of the stuff that links to the other bits in the base game we are just editing the xml and we will scroll down if you've watched my bga video it's a bit like the edit i did on the bga um, and the numbers we want to change are the cycles per hour um, and yeah, an easy one let's just do it as a uh, a factor of 10 so we'll just add a zero onto the end and it will process things 10 times quicker um 
if you wanted you may want to update the capacity of things here so you can put more in as well that's entirely up to you again it is literally just a case of changing the numbers and adding in some zeros for example uh, i'm not going to do that i'm just looking at increasing the speed of the production today so we will hit Control s to save that and close it um, if you've got it in a zip it will then ask you to update the archive if you want to turn this into a zipped mod you can just uh select all the files so you can either do left click and drag across or control a and then right click on there seven zip and compress to zip and don't do what i do and click on compress an email you just want to add to and then we cut that and go up to our mods folder and paste it in and then i would just delete the folder that's there so we now have it as a zip so we could do 7-zip open archive and we can see our files are in there so let's get back in the game and see what the difference is so right, we're back in the game and we're going to demonstrate this two ways um, first we're just going to have a quick look in the productions menu and we'll see the difference so 3600 cycles versus 36,000 cycles so should in theory be producing flour much quicker which is uh, what we want and we're going to test it so we're going to activate both and we have a couple of trailers full of wheat so we'll give this is the base game unedited one so we'll give it a head start um, by tipping that one first and then we'll jump in the other one and we'll tip that and we'll see who wins because who doesn't love a race Um, I don't do a lot with production, so the only one that I've really used is the carpentry and best BGAs because they count as a production. So let's jump in and have a look. And you can see that we are already pretty well getting ahead of things on our faster production. So I'm just going to speed time up a little bit and we'll see how we do. There we go. 120 times and we'll see what happens with the two production. So this one is down to about 16,500 litres and this one is still up at 80,000 litres. And we are getting pallets of flour out of that one and we have none out of that one yet. So if we just check the menu, they're both on storing and you can see here we are obviously processing much, much quicker. So if you want to edit a production so that they are faster, I don't you know, questions about realism. Don't care. It's frustrating sometimes how slow these productions are, particularly the carpentry. So yeah, if you want to edit them, that's how you do it. If you found this video useful, and you're not already and you didn't listen to me ask you at least once already please click subscribe and turn on notifications uh, hit the like button we do not smash like buttons here they are valuable and i need them if you smash the like button you have to buy me a coffee link is below and leave me a comment and i'll catch you next time on fs22